Good morning, good morning, good morning. A very merry, disgustingly stupid o'clock to one and all. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. And dear God, folks, please stop me from getting up so early. Well, folks, as always, it's it's early at stupid o'clock. We're going back to that horrible world known as the JRC. But before we get going on that, few disclaimers. First off, you are going to see the link to this massive report full of a bunch of crazy, stupid nonsense. Linked right there in the description, right alongside the... uh, I can't talk this morning. Autistic Hoya massive archive in regards to the Judge Rotenberg case. And also the petition, change.org, shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down. They're slippery bastards. Let's get them closed, folks. And the templates. Fill out your name. Click on your senator. Two minutes, folks. Come on. We also have the video for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, who just joined the channel in regards to what's going on in Canton, Massachusetts, and why the flurry of videos on the topic. All right, folks, another couple disclaimers real quick. Also, folks, when we are talking about the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and sometimes see clips of video surveillance camera footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you have children present, please, folks, use your headphones and use your head. Also, guys, it is 3.15. Oh, God, I can't even talk. It is 3.50 a.m. in the morning. So, if I keep flubbing up like that, my apologies to you all in advance, all right? Okay, so we're starting off where we left off yesterday. Current policies and procedures, staff hiring. Oh, God. Is it too early for popcorn? Do y'all think it's too early for popcorn? Or is this going to be the sort of thing that might turn my stomach? Well, let's see. JRC employs several different methods to recruit new hires, including running advertisements in local publications and on Craigslist, posting job openings on the JRC website, and taking referrals from current employees. Kind of makes me wonder, though. What on earth do they hook these employees with? I mean, some of them have to have some sort of conscience, at least in the beginning, right? So how, once they take their tour, will they determine that this is just a job for them? I don't know. Curious minds and all that. The job description for the mental health assistant, overnight program supervisor, crisis specialist, and monitoring quality control were reviewed. Oh my God, who cares? Just close the place, judge. Jeez. I highly think who they're hiring at this point is the problem. Although it may be a large part of it. Ultimately, the problem is, is that they exist in the first place. But, I don't know. A mental health assistant must have a high school diploma. Really? Really? That's all you require of your mental health assistant. Guys, are you hearing this? Are you, are you hearing this from this educated judge? A mental health assistant must have a high school diploma. That's your criteria. Oh my God, this place is a freaking disaster. Experience in human services or education is preferred but not required. Dear God. 
And how is this supposed to prevent mm. a crisis specialist must have a high school diploma and experience in law enforcement is preferred but not required? The overnight program supervisor, a new position created after the incident, must have a bachelor's degree in psychology or education and have one to five years experience in a residential program serving mentally behaviorally disordered population. Oh, mother of God. So the staff that actually administers the shocks are only required to have a high school education. But the supervisors are required to have actual degrees. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. But the supervisor has degrees, so it makes it okay, right? No, dumbass. If you have all those degrees and that level of education, and you still enter into this place willingly, see what's going on, and still continue to perpetrate that sort of treatment on students, you are a sick son of a bitch, education or no education. And as for the fact that you require literally only a high school diploma or a mental health assistant and a crisis specialist? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Ugh. Dear God. And what's sad is this is not just a JRC thing. You guys have no idea how many so-called experts I've had to explain my own diagnosis to and exactly how to help me. I basically had to design my own damn program because there is such a large lack of training and education on the subject for anyone who's not a freaking psychologist. But moving on. The monitoring quality control position also requires a bachelor's degree in psychology or education and one to five years in a residential program serving a mentally behavioral disordered population. Oh, for God's sake. So you want them prejudiced against us before they get into the position. Got it. Got it. All staff must complete two and a half hours of in-service training each month. Typically, quality control staff are promoted from within JRC. Only staff that have strong evaluation scores are eligible for promotion to DVR or in-house monitoring. People with education who get more education about correct ways of actually doing things but still continue to do it our way, those are the ones we promote. Staff that have a history of being evaluated will not be considered for monitoring positions. Quality control staff must be team players, have good communication skills, and use good judgment. Team players. You mean um, buy your line of bullshit, keep their mouth shut, that sort of thing? Why am I not surprised? You can tell by my tone, folks. I have no time for bullshit. I really don't. And the level of stupid that this judge recommends people with just high school degrees for what they consider very critical con positions with power over disabled people And it would be more mind-blowing if it wasn't something that is actually pretty much like the rest of the freaking people who are supposed to be teaching us to be more normal. Dear God, shoot me. Moving on. All of the JRC administrative level staff are asked about other positions within JNC. JRC, they held prior to their current positions. 
All JRC administrative staff obtain their positions through internal promotions. Ah, the gold. You scratch my back, I scratch your backs, of course. All staff reported starting at JRC as mental health assistants and working their way up to the administrative level. Mm. So now I'm beginning to see why they're taking kids straight out of high school. It makes more sense because if they're working their way up from mental health assistance, people who have nothing but high school degrees, and JRC then provides incentives from there on out to assist with getting them higher education and that sort of thing and offer them that juicy promotion. It makes them indebted to this place. And I bet every time they have a protest for the level of insanity this place gets up to, they remind them of it. What do you want to bet? Who wants to put the money on it? It appears that there is a very little lateral hiring for administrative positions and that most persons in high-level positions have been JRC for 15 or even 20 years. Oh, so by that time, they are seasoned and well brainwashed. Gotcha. All prospective employees must fill out employment application, questionnaire, and complete a writing sample, all of which is reviewed by a human resources recruiter who determines if the candidate should be interviewed. In other words, we're going to determine if you're going to whistleblow on us like Greg Miller. If the interview is successful, a job offer is made, and the candidate is asked to complete a CORI form authorizing JRC to run a criminal back criminal records check on both the candidates given name and any LSs. Once the CORI is returned, Human Resources checks any offenses against the EEC's list of discretionary versus mandatory offenses in order to determine if the candidate is eligible to begin employment. So they say, not to mention, Judge, is there any reason why you feel like you need to go ahead and talk about a background check? Everyone who's literally ever had a job in their freaking lives know they run background checks, all right? Quit filling this with useless information. No wonder this thing is so damn long. JRC will typically not hire any candidate that has any discretionary offenses on his or her CORI report. JRC will also check to make sure a potential employee is not listed on the EEC's online database of individuals who have substantiated complaints of child abuse or neglect in their history. So you say, but then again, I guess you want them to get their feet wet in that field with you in-house, right? Once the CORI process is complete, candidates must fill out an I-9 form and provide the required work authorization documentation. Why does this matter? What does this have to do with the August 26, 2007 incident? At all. If such documentation is not provided for a certain amount of period of time, the candidate is told they cannot be hired. Once all paperwork is completed, the new employee is given a date to return for mandatory basic training prior to being put on the schedule. For the love of God, any of us who has a job knows this, Judge. Why in the name of God do you feel the need to put that information in there? All right, so basic training, I want to go that in and by itself tomorrow. I just need to rant a little bit first. I just need to rant. Because that was like mind-boggling stupid we just read there. mind-boggling levels of stupid. So what you're going to tell me is that when you hire somebody on to be, as you said, a mental health assistant, not only do they have to have absolutely 
no knowledge of the mental health field whatsoever. But that all they need is a high school diploma. Experience is preferred, but high school diploma. Oh my God, you are letting someone with no education in regards to mental health or people with neurological disabilities around a population of extremely vulnerable people. People with zero, absolutely zero training or experience outside of the JRC. And they want that. And why do they want that? Because they want to basically program these people from the ground up. If they get you bring spanking new straight out of high school, they can then from that point build you into the sort of staff they want you to be. I always wondered how a staff in healthcare could be able to let go of the Hippocratic Oath and be willing to go through these types of horrific kinds of treatment. But if you take these guys fresh out of high school with no education and no mental health background whatsoever, and you start inundating them from day one, their level of insanity, and then proceed to help them on to higher education. By the time they hit administration, they are completely brainwashed. They have completely swallowed all the so-called training. They've become programmed into being the perfect little torturers. It makes a little bit more sense now. They've been, they desensitize these kids straight out of high school with no mental health expertise from day one. Day one. Because where are they going to get this experience for those higher positions? At the JRC, through the programs they designed. When you are out of high school with no experience and you get thrown into this place, and you are not given any other experiences, really, outside of what the JRC is recommending for you. Mm, I would question it. I would question this. I'd be like, okay, this is really, really weird. Maybe it's just me. But it almost seems like they go through this brainwashing, starting from getting their these kids in straight out of high school. And by the time they become those who are carrying the remote controls with the kids facing on it, they are so desensitized and so programmed by the JRC that they don't feel any remorse at all anymore. It's just, maybe it's just me, but I can just see there's something sinister lurking there. There's an agenda lurking there. If you're taking kids straight out of the high school with no mental health education or experience whatsoever and putting them in as a mental health assistant with just a diploma and then you keep them in and push them along and give them the type of training and the type of education that only you approve of with no outside influences or other schools of thought. It's just interesting is all. And on that final thought, I'm going to go ahead and close out for this morning. We don't get very many views on this channel especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So folks, please don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. Feed the algorithm, folks. I do appreciate your time this morning.
And as always, we here at Smelling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.